And here we are at the Winter Championships, fourth round of the 23rd of February 2019 at the Cambly Car Club. And we're watching the cadets finish their final race. And we have Ben Ballou there in the pit lane paddock waiting for their final race. Alfie Templey is on pole position with Benjamin Blue in second place. Jed Murphy third on the grid with Jordan Upton behind him. Those four drivers contesting this final race. Wishbend, you can see the elevation leading them into the S's and then down slightly into Cooper's curve. Here's the top pit bend, you see the marshals sewing them down into position. Alfie leading them round and in formation they come around the final hairpin. And that is turn seven. Seven, three, your final. Making their way towards the chicane on turn 8. And the start finish line just out of the chicane. Alfie Templey there leads them through. But it's a great start by Ben and look at that, Ben has got the advantage on the outside. Will Alfie take a risk? He doesn't, then holds the corner through wish bend into the S's. And this is his lap, oh he gets very sideways indeed. A round Cooper's curve down the top pit bend into the hairpin. And it's a look-see there by Alfie as they enter into the chicane. And we're riding here with Benjamin Blue and he's managed to hold Alfie at bay into wish bend again. And you can look at the live timing there. Holding his own now through the top of the circuit. There's quite a lot of elevation. They come down here. That is where Alfie wants to take advantage. And uh, having a look-see again down into the chicane. It's all very, very tight stuff. Benjamin holding the lead now, completing another lap in the lead. Up to turn one. Nicely taken. There's no place there for Alfie to get through. Through Cooper's curve. And it's a nice bit of entry work there. He set him up. Ben went wide, left the door open. A little nudge there, I think. And that's only going to help Alfie move away through the chicane nice and neatly. And there's a lead instantly. Look at the live timing, the Delta is 0.85. So just coming out of that chicane, he's already gained nearly a second. So let's see if Benjamin can hold on to his tails. On board again, lovely on board pictures here from Benjamin's car. Through the S's and up to the start finish line. What's the gap? It's 1.02, so he's gained an extra, well, just under two tenths. And the best lap of 27.78 is a full second actually quicker than Benjamin. And he's got to settle down because those Mini Maxes are travelling at a very similar rate to him. 27.78. A good lap by Ben, and they spread out on this lap. A real battle now ensuing between Jed Murphy and Jordan Upton. Very, very dry conditions here. The sun is out, and conditions are absolutely ideal on this very bright February afternoon. See a fastest lap by Alfie Templey at 27.7. On that same lap, Benjamin has lost nearly a whole second. 
with the Mini Maxes of Jed Murphy and Jordan Upton really absolutely within hundreds of that back time 26.28.62 for Jed and 28.66 for Jordan Upton so we are now just seven laps in and on that last lap 0.6 seconds was gained by Alfie over second place Ben leaving a gap of 3.8 seconds and the field beginning to spread out the, set, the race settling down all the drivers really very consistent at 28.26 by Baloo so he's only lost three tenths on that last lap And so the differences here are that uh, we have two Junior Maxes at the front with Temple in blue in uh, the Junior Maxes of number 61 and 73 respectively. Then we have the Mini Maxes of uh, Jeb Murphy and Jordan Upton, part 69 and 19. Very, very closely matched those two drivers. Very little between them indeed. And both of them gaining on blue this time. But he's stuck a better lap in on that last lap. Just completed lap 10. Just completed 28.43 for blue. He pulls that away from those two pursuing mini maxes. But here comes Alfie looking rather serene. Very, very consistent lap times. His last lap, 27.8. His best lap time, 27.7. He's operating in a margin of really just two tenths of a second every single lap. And whilst Ben's lap time, best lap time is, well, only 0.57 of a second slower than Alfie, he's not quite got the consistency and he's dropping back to be 6.79 seconds a lap behind. And you can see the elevation there. We go uphill through the wish bend, down through the S's, top pit, uh, top pit bend, into past the pit entrance, past Park Ferme, and uh, down through turn seven into the S's sorry into the chicane and here he goes across the line completing another lap and on that lap he was 0.58 seconds slower than Alpha Templey Alpha Templey's last lap 27.78 within 8 hundredths of his best lap of the race after 14 laps and those two glued together there, Jed Murphy and Jordan Upton. And you could barely put a cigarette paper in between them. Very, very evenly matched, having a great race. And Benjamin Ballou really out on his own. Probably trying a few different things. It may add to a little bit of inconsistency. But since he's on his own, he's got to try out whatever he can. It's all about seat time. It's all about getting in the laps in while you're racing. And looking at the data afterwards. Another lap completed by Alfie Templey, lap 16. And here comes Benjamin completing his lap, 28.42. It's another 5.8, well, another 58 hundredths lost to the leader. Jed Murphy on a, almost precisely the same lap time as Baloo. So those mini maxes not falling back quickly. And I can tell you that um, Benjamin Blue, he carries a lot of weight 
to be in the Junior Max class. And uh, that weight is very much fixed to the cart. So as he grows with experience and stature, that weight will come away and he may well have the opportunity to get the cart underneath him a bit better. Choosing to go that route than stay in the Minimax class. Jed Murphy on that lap, pulling four hundredths of a second out of the lead of Benjamin Ballou and Jordan Upton in close attention. Alfie Templey completing yes another lap. Lap 19 is completed. And there goes Benjamin also completing that lap. And the gap comes down once again to those pursuing Minimaxes of Jed Murphy and Jordan Upton. Well in the groove, those two drivers, having a great race. Very interesting to watch them. Here they are. Very little between them all throughout this race. Twenty laps now completed. Up through the S's comes Benjamin. And up through the S's come the two Minimaxes. And then down again towards the pit bend of turn seven into the chicane of turn eight. And look how close these two are now. Driving each other forwards. Absolutely nothing in it. 28.48 for Benjamin Ballou. 28.48 for Jed Murphy. The gap has totally stabilized, except Alfie keeps marching on and on. A delta of 0.54 seconds on that last lap. We have some lovely on-board footage coming into Bush Bend. You'll watch the elevation as he goes uphill here into the S's through Bush Bend. And then we have Cooper's Curve. And he'll make his way down through the top bin, top head pit bend. But there's the checkered flag, there's Alfie swishing his car left and right. It's the end of the race. And taking checkered, we have Benjamin and the very closely matched Jordan Upton and Jed Murphy. Jed Murphy third, Jordan Upton fourth.